So I set my telescope right now. I have the half axis grinder working. And also I have the balance working very well with this one. With the 0.7 focal reducer, this is shooting at f5.5. I wanted to uh, take a picture of uh, the pack nebula and see how that is going to come out. The balancing is good. It took a while. I had to put an extra weight, counterweight here, counterweight here, counterweight here. Yeah, this project took a while, but I'm interested to take a narrow band picture, see how it is going to do. I'll do the guiding using the guide scope because this is not focused yet. The Apex guider, I think I made the focus working, but not like really the way I wanted it. So I'll show you guys my workflow. The CGX mount is able to navigate to the star like the first, second star or third star for calibration pretty good. The guide scope, even though it is a guide scope, not an half axis guider, the RMS error is between 0.77 up to 1 RMS error throughout the night. It's pretty windy, but it did a pretty good job. The narrow band filters, the astronomic 6 nanometers filters, they came out pretty decent. So they started uh, giving me a good signal on the HA for 60 seconds exposures, but I couldn't find any signal for O3 and S2 that much at 60 second exposure. So I had to go all the way up to like 180 seconds in order to get a good signal. So. So I'm doing, I did a basic uh, stacking from HA, this is like 10 minutes and O3 is for 12 minutes and S2 for 12 minutes and uh, these three pictures I combined them in pixel math. I put red HA, green 0.403 and 0.8 HA and S2 for the blue. And if I use the pixel math, I should get a color picture. And here is my combined narrowband picture. And if I do an automatic background on this one, If I do a art, <clears throat> so here is the combined picture of these three. Came out pretty good. I I really like it. It's pretty decent for uh, thirty minutes exposure. So, and we can do a basic uh, curves transformation just to bring out. It's slightly darker. And that should do it for this one. Oh yeah, so that green stuff comes out. What I didn't like is the... 
So this RGBK, if I bring it down a little, where the saturation, I really wanted to saturate it. And the hues, I would love to bring it down so that I get the colors that I want. Yeah, something like that. And then let's see, we could increase the red a little bit more, but uh, let's do that afterwards. Let's fix this. All right. So here we could uh, brighten the red part. Oh God. <clears throat> Mostly trial and error at this time, so. just for your uh, personal taste I guess just to make sure bring out the colors that we want I think it looks pretty good so overall I would say for uh, 30 minutes exposure not bad data the explore scientific 127 mm FCD 100 has a great potential i really love the telescope the focuser is actually doing a much better job than i expected it's focusing automatically filters change uh, i never used to i was doing manual filters on the hyperstar so far or rasa so that was a blessing i don't need to like go out and figure out so i can just play with my kids while it is uh, taking the guiding i think that's one of the greatest advantage of making the uh, automatic uh, image system the way I want it to be. I really love the way it turned out the project. So I hope you guys found this uh, video useful. Thanks for watching and uh, clear skies. Thank you.